All right, so we are getting so close here. We're at an hour and seven minutes on this session. And um, I think that puts us at like, um, we're, I think we're still under 10 hours for this whole project. I'll have to look it up. Um, I was losing track there, but you know, we're getting real close. The last piece of this is adding in those control joints on uh, or saw cuts on the driveway concrete so that we just add a little bit more realism. So we're gonna take care of that using, um, we're gonna use the sandbox drape tool to get that, that kind of organic shape back into a flat shape. Then we're gonna draw some lines and offset it and drape them back on the driveway and use the vector push pull to push it down. And for the actual, um, thickness of the saw cuts, I'm probably going to exaggerate it a little bit. I mean, they're probably in real life, like a eighth or a quarter of an inch. I'll probably make them close to like half an inch just so they really show up. So anyways, uh, this will be kind of the last step and then we'll re-render and see what we got and uh, call this one good. So let's get to it. All right. So yeah, last part of this is uh, we need to fill this back in. All right. So to do that, I'm going to draw a rectangle from here to here. And then, you know what? I'm just gonna make a copy of that rectangle like this from here to here. And that way it's kind of extended out uh, beyond where it needs to be. And then I'm gonna go in here and copy just the top portion of that uh, driveway. And then I'll go back in here, group this piece, hide the rest of my model, paste in place, move this one straight up over here, group it, open my sandbox tools and click drape and drape like that. And so now uh, this part can be grouped and deleted and this part is no longer needed. And now what we're left with is exactly what we had except it's flat. So I do that rather quickly, huh? All right, so now we need to use, uh, maybe I'll use like this, this piece here, which I think was on an axis. So I'm just gonna copy it to right here and then type four divided by and that looks pretty good to me, all right? And then I'll use my line tool and uh, maybe I'll just go straight through here and then trim up the rest of this like that. And so we don't need those pieces at all. All right, so that's gonna be the control joints, but we need those joints to be um, three-dimensional, you know? Um, so I guess to do that, I would, you know, sometimes what I do is just offset the whole shape in general. Um, I think that we could probably just do this. Let me see what this looks like. If I offset this by say um, a quarter of an inch. Well, I'm gonna undo that. Here's the easy way, is just offset this by a quarter of an inch and uh, maybe um, three eighths instead. Let's try uh, three eighths and then double click, double click, double click, double click, double click, and double click. That repeats that last one. And then just clear out the middle pieces of this thing. So we'll just kind of zoom in, clear those out. And then uh, last part here, uh, I do have that little chunk right there. I don't like leaving little things like that in my model. And so I wanna make sure that we get all these out of here like that, and just take a quick look around make sure that we got all of them. All right, that looks good to me. So basically what we're gonna do is um, take this piece and we're going to drape that part onto the model. So I'm gonna just group it, invert my selection, delete it, and uh, you know this is the only piece that I really need at, you know, moving forward. And you know if I wanted to leave that driveway behind, maybe I do need it. It's always a good idea to kind of leave these different pieces behind. It seems like they always kind of come back. So, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this, Control C, and then I'm gonna undo this back to where it was, uh, you know, all set, like this, uh, close to that, there. All right, so now I just undid everything, and then I can just do a paste in place. All right, so that way I can leave that other piece intact and so there we go. All right, so then I'll cut this and then hop back into my driveway, paste in place. And with the sandbox tool still open, I can use my drape tool and then just drape it right onto that, all right? And then we'll get rid of this for now. It's still on my clipboard just in case. And let's just check and see how that drape function worked out. You know, see, look at that. Kind of went all the way around. Looks good, all right? 
So now what we need to do is use our uh, joint push-pull, Frito 6, and then we have the vector push-pull. As I mentioned before, that seems to be the most valuable of the joint push-pulls. That's my opinion. I'm going to push it straight down by um, 0.75. We're going to make it a, you know, kind of a deep control joint there, like that. And yeah, so that's all good. Um, it kind of left, let me undo that. Maybe I have to like do a click and drag. No, I don't want to do that. I want to click once. I'm going to tap the up arrow key. What I don't want it to do, I, I just don't want it to like leave that surface behind. So control will thicken it. So um, let's, let's do it like this. I'm going to pull it up by say five and then I'm gonna push it back down. And let me see if that does what I want it to do. So back down by say 5.5. All right, so I was hoping to kind of get rid of, you know, this thing happening here, but that's okay. I, I can just do it manually. So I'll group this and delete it. And then, um, and then you know, I've got this like edge all the way around, which I'm not thrilled about, but honestly, very unlikely it would ever show up. So I'd probably get rid of, you know, try and get rid of these. But there's our control joints. Um, and, you know, if, if I wasn't doing a tutorial, I'd probably try this a few more times and see if there's a way to, like, you know, do that uh, vector push-pull as, like, a true push-pull. Um, you know, I'm kind of bummed I didn't get it the way I wanted it the first time. Let's try it one more time. The advantage of uh, vector push-pull is that it's, it just takes them all straight down. Um, so really that's the one I need and I need it to go down straight down on the blue and I'm looking for like a maybe it's up here so finishing you know try something different like that thicken keep original face erase original face okay let's try that so you can see there's these other parameters up there at the top left of my screen I'll type 0.5 and maybe just maybe Hey, look at that. I did get what I wanted. So yeah, it's worth uh, persisting through that. All right, so yeah, that looks great. Cool. All right, so there's my control joints. Um, yeah, it seems, you know, I kind of drew them off, off center. Uh, that's a bummer. How did I do that? I think I snapped up here and it was um, not the right center line. Let's just do it real quick. All right, ready for this. Um, let me see, view and uh, guides are on. So why, are, why am I not getting a guide? There's like a ton of um, edges there. All right, so I'll just make a copy of this and we'll say two divisions. I'll use my line tool again and do something like this and then select these guys and then make a copy from here to here and say four divided by. And then we're going to um, just clean this up and you know what, I think I'm just gonna cheat on this one, get rid of these guys, and then just use my line tool so that we don't get some you know weird control joint happening there. All right, so now let's do it real quick, all right? So this is, um, we're gonna take all this stuff, uh, delete it, delete my guides, invert my selection, clear out all those other little edges. I'll use my offset tool and uh, we're gonna offset by 3 8 I think that's what we did last time. And then again, I just double click. Uh, I gotta be a little more precise with those double clicks. Double click, I'm like getting a half click and drag. And then one more like that. All right, so then I can delete these and these and get rid of these guys. I guess there's a few extra little pieces kind of lingering there and a few over here like that. All right. So now we're in good shape. That's uh, <laughs> that's a much better look than what I had done the first time. And I'll just go into the hit into this one, paste it in place. Um, this guy, I need to select only this and we can invert that selection, delete the rest. This is going to drape onto here. And then we're gonna use our joint push pull. And since we just learned how to use it properly, we click here and then we're gonna go down and our finishing is going to be um, 
to erase the original face and we'll go a half an inch down and that should give us the right look and see we got all of our uh, materials. No big deal. So um, learn something kind of new here. Let's turn off our uh, always off layers like that and whatever's left over here that was um, always off as well and you know what that really should be all this stuff should be on layer uh, <laughs> untagged this is on always off like that all right there we go save this hop into lumion and you know just kind of make a point here that you don't always have to use live sync you know at this point you know we're, we're, we're in good shape we don't need like this constant live connection so what I can do is just click on reimport model. I made sure to save that model over there in SketchUp. We're going to reimport it. And so now we should see score lines or uh, saw cuts, control lines pop right in here like that. There we go. All right. Hop back into our photo studio. Yeah, look at that driveway. You know, it's got a little bit of rain on it, a little bit of variation, um, a little bit of uh, weathering, and it just makes a more convincing image when it's not so perfect. Where's a good shot of it? Yeah, I mean, we could have spent a little more time. There is something just a little off about like the angle of the driveway. And I don't know how they would have done those score lines. I'm, it probably would have been something like that. But anyway, um, point is you know how to do them. And uh, yeah, <laughs> we could get into uh, going to Google Images and finding hilly driveways and saw cuts. And I do that kind of stuff all the time because those are the little details that, you know, really get noticed. If it's not right, it gets noticed. But I think for, for this project, it looks great. We're all good. All right. So, um, yeah, from above, you can always double click to get a, a quick render. So anyway, um, I think we're in good shape. We, you know, everything we set out to do, uh, we've got our backyard kind of patched in. We've got uh, the darker paint color down low, the lighter paint color up top, and all that's left to do now is render these guys out. So let's kick them out at uh, 4K, 3840 by 2160. Um, I'll put this in my desktop temp, make a new folder, call it 4K, that's fine, like that. And uh, I'll just name them the same, 200430, uh, and then hit go. And so when we're rendering these guys out, I mean, it's, you know, oftentimes I'll do like a, a quick check, uh, you know, render out at a higher res just because it only takes like five minutes to do it. So let's let these cook and then we'll take one final, uh, one final look at what we've created. All right, cancel that rendering. Uh, looks like this is a great learning point here where, remember what I was saying about the layers? We got to have layer two on because then we force it off in a few other places. So I'm going to go back in here and uh, we'll just hit render again. Let these things cook at 4K. If you like this video, click the BD button to subscribe to our channel. Every week we post new videos covering SketchUp, Layout, Lumion, and our Condoc Tools extension. If you are a professional architect or interior designer, you're going to love our tutorials.